Welcome. I'm Dave Hyatt and thanks for joining us. Our brain stores memories, traumas and emotions in special compartments. Sometimes we get stuck on a bad experience and we carry that with us throughout our lives. We can use our brain to unpack these compartments so we can better deal with them. We can put things in the right order, rearrange them, or get rid of them all together. I'm going to demonstrate some tools that you can use to help you understand the way you work and how you can affect those around you. Take control of how you want to watch this program. You may find it helpful to watch an episode more than once or press pause while you think about what you've seen. Very importantly, I want you to have some fun by using the imagination part of your brain to see things in a different way. In this episode, we're going to explore the idea that your brain is like a car. This is an important idea that we'll also explore in other episodes. This is a chunky model of the brain. This model is brightly colored to show different parts of the brain. Our brains are amazing. They control every part of our body, including our thoughts, emotions, and actions. So when I say your brain is like a car, what do I mean? Thinking about our car, our brain and how it works, and how they work together, we're all traveling somewhere through life's experiences. We want to get to our destination in the best possible way. So our car needs to be in good shape. Let's take a closer look. To travel well, we need to know how this car works. Now, here are some important parts in this car. The driver's seat, the steering wheel, the engine, and the four wheels on the road. Let's make a drawing of these parts. This is the chassis. Here is the steering wheel. You're in the driver's seat with your hands on the wheel. You are steering in the direction that you want to go. Here is the engine and four wheels on the road. The front wheel on the driver's side is called the thinking wheel. The rear wheel on the driver's side is called the feeling wheel. The rear wheel on the passenger side is also called a feeling wheel. The front wheel on the passenger side is the action wheel. So how are you going with your drawing? Let's look at the model again. How does this engine power our car? Our needs power the engine of our car. Here's the engine. Needs such as survival, air, water, shelter, food, love, like, belong, power, control, skill, recognition, freedom, from and to, towards things, and fun, enjoy, satisfaction, pleasure. We drive our car to meet our needs. We know that our needs power the engine of our car. Survival, love, power, freedom and fun. We've already labelled the four wheels, thinking, feeling, feeling again and action. Let's take a closer look at what the labels on the wheels mean. What does the thinking wheel do? We think in words and pictures. 
This wheel makes sense of things or not, so we can move thoughtfully. This feeling wheel is about your emotions. Glad, sad, mad, scared. This other feeling wheel is about what your body feels. Sleep well, eat well, exercise well. What does the action wheel do? Saying what you're thinking is an action. Doing what you're thinking is an action. So how does this all work? Most of us have been invited to different events. Some we enjoy, but others not so much fun. Say we're invited to a barbecue with friends. Ah. This invitation is need satisfying. I'm thinking this is going to be fun and I'm feeling happy and I'm already feeling hungry. My action is that I'm sending my RSVP right now. Because I've had great times with my friends before, this is one of the special things in my life. My thinking, feelings, actions, and all of my needs are being fulfilled. So my car is traveling well. Your brain is like a car. When things are not working well, driving is hard work. But when everything is working together, driving is a pleasure. We'll keep exploring these ideas in other episodes. Thanks for working with me and join me again to discover more about how to use your brain. Thanks for watching. To learn more about ideas I've talked about, watch this video. Get yourself a drink, pen, piece of paper, then draw along with me.